What's up guys, it's me Roku back with some more League content. I'm here to inform you about the sponsor of our current video, Skillshare. Skillshare is essentially our one-stop shop on the internet for learning new skills or even improving at skills that you already learned but maybe you want to refine them. They have thousands and thousands of classes on a massive variety of topics. Things like coding, mathematics, time management, business development, two more silly and hobby-like things like drawing or making music. Skillshare is very useful to people who either want to get better at their hobbies or to freelancers who need to pick up more skills to improve their business or whatever the case may be. In terms of my personal journey with Skillshare, I'm both a YouTuber and a full-time student in real life. This means that I have a lot of work to do every single day and I don't have a lot of free time to work with, so my time management skills have to be on point. This is why Skillshare is perfect for me because I can basically go through every single aspect of my time management that I do wrong and find a course on it and get better at that. Currently, I've been getting through YouTube success by Marques Brownlee, a very, very successful YouTuber. This is basically a masterclass on how to do very well on YouTube, so I've been trying to pick these skills up in order to succeed even harder with my channel. So yeah, what are you waiting for? The first thousand people to use the link in the description and the pinned comments will get a one month long free trial. That's an entire month of content, classes, and just information for you to get better at all the skills that you wanna get better at. Thank you very much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Peace out. All right, everybody, it's Miracle Back on our gameplay. We are up against Akali Top. This matchup is quite annoying sometimes, but if you play it right, it's not too much of an issue. You basically just have to, um, well, kill her before six, and when she gets level six, try not to take stupid fights because she spikes quite hard at that level. Anyway, we're just chilling for now. Trying not to get hit too much by her. Another way you can play out the level 1 lane is by going full aggressive. You can rank hook level 1 and go for like a level 1 cheese. Right, that's an option available to you. But I've chosen to not go for that. Because if we can pull her around my side of the lane and force a fight, she should be just dead. Yep, the bleed kills her. That's basically what I was talking about. Because if she ranks her smoke, then she's stuck around me, right? Best she can do is wait out my bleed stacks, but I'll still be on her. I'll be able to continue the all and kill her. She ranks that, I can just catch up to her, kill her anyway. So it's a lose lose situation for her. That was really greedy. I should have gone for RW, that would have been better. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> the opportunity to kill her again was just way too juicy to pass up for me, so I apologize. Yeah, we lose an entire wave off of that, so that's pretty bad for us. Let's see how much she loses. She should lose the cannon and the, the melees and maybe one ranged. She did die before us, though. She actually died at the same time, but she might get there faster because of her champion abilities. Right? She got her dash, she got her smoke. Gun smoke, gun smoke. Okay. I'm gonna place the ward down anyway, because it is nidally. But we should be good to chill. Okay. Gonna let her push up and go for like the same kill we went for like a while ago. Like the first kill. That's why you don't want to do wave control with melees. Their aggro is kind of random and annoying. Okay, no cannon for you. Bro, Nidalee's getting a ton of kills. This is not good. Okay. This freeze is really profitable, so the longer we keep up, the better it's going to be for us. Okay. We're essentially just chilling. Right. Nothing to do except CS. 
the Evolum comes up here, it's a free kill practically. Does she have invis? Nope. So I gotta land a hook. Oh. So that was, that's not gonna be easy. Alright. <laughs> she just danced. Okay. She gave the kill to the Evelyn. Which is personally insulting, but okay. Hmm. Perhaps I pushed it a bit too far. A bit too quickly, because there's no way I'm going to be able to get a clean crash off. Right? So I let the cannon hang for a bit so I could get that clean crash. Had the minions to the turret. God. Didn't they make it so that if you start an attack, the W can't cancel it? Because that R would have just straight up killed her. Both times. Ugh. It honestly shocks me that this champion had like... Like, does anybody remember Akali on release? Where she had a stun? Like a heal? She could avoid turret shots with her W? And she's still like annoying to fight? Like it's just mind-boggling that, you know... um. Riot came up with that, but, you know. <laughs> Akali is definitely one of the champions where, like, I think letting her exist at this current state was, like, an absolute mistake, and it should never have been done. But it was... What? Did she kill all of them with one ult? Alright, that Rakan just gave her a reset. <laughs> the Rakan just gave her a reset so she could kill them both. Ugh. That was funny. Quite the hilarity. Alright, let's get a slow push going. Get a big crash into her turret, then freeze that. We have a massive CS lead already, so we're doing quite well. The wolves are at your door. Gotta stand between her and the cannon so she doesn't get it. Her shuriken doesn't do any damage anyway, so it's like, no problem to tank it. Uh, we unfortunately have to give things up for our Shungler. Whatever, she's out. That's a TNMP situation right there. Totally not my problem. It's almost like every time I get close, she just gets away, so there's no point in me getting over here anyway. Bars. Isn't that funny? How if I get close, they go away? It's kind of thing people don't get is that like, oh, this fight happened here, so if you were here, we would win that fight. Yes, but if I was there, that fight wouldn't happen, because they, they wouldn't go for it. Um... What? <laughs> right, let's chill actually, because the Thresh was top lane. The Nidalee is also top lane. She actually kills us there. Oh my god. The bleed doesn't even put her down. That champion is so fun to fight. Uh, yeah, she actually spiked so hard with level 6 that she one-shot us from, like, well, I'd say, like, around a th thousand gold down. Uh, isn't she just a fun champ to fight? I right, we gotta just untilt because this is quite tilting. Couldn't set up a good fight with that big wave. No, I had to die to her like that because her champ's fun to fight 
Like I uh, like the irony of me being a Darius player is not lost on me, by the way. <laughs> but at least when Darius kills you, you know, oh, oh, that Q hit me, right? It's not like, okay, she did the all the jutsus that are you know village taught her, moving around like a Dragon Ball character, while I'm Yamcha here, can't move, can't dash. It's just a little bit of an annoyance. Yeah, and that thing just lets her disengage with impunity. May the devour the weak. Let's try to get a trade off near our turret so we can get her to take turret shots. That was a nice trade. Kind of have to go for things like that where, because it's near our turret, she can't fight back, that kind of trade. <clears throat> oh no! Can we even stay out here? Likely not. Yeah, she kind of played it like an idiot. Like, because she used her E and her ultimate at the same time, and then shrouded here, we could basically just run in the opposite direction. She's kind of screwed out of that fight because, like, at that point, there's nothing she can do to... <sighs> of course, the jungler has to be here. I love League of Legends! Oh, yeah! Yeah! League of Legends! I'm playing Darius here instead of watching Worlds. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I don't really care about Worlds. I think it's already over, right? Yeah. I'm so out of it, because the thing is, like, as much as we like to enjoy Worlds as League players, like, Worlds is is so far removed from solo queue that it's like two completely different games. So it's like, I like solo queue, right? <laughs> Worlds, not so much. Also because every kind of match boils down to be really similar. Nobody picks crazy champions or does anything unique or fun. There's not a lot of hype moments, not a lot of sick plays being made. It's just, oh no, he jumped forward and landed this big AOE ability. It's like, what else is he gonna do with that? Like, no one's been creative or anything like that. So, it's just not my cup of tea, sports-wise. Because, like, due to the team reliance of the champions, it's really difficult for players to be individual. Ooh, they're gonna die there. Because we got Triforce, we should be able to bust down this turret quickly. So if they leave us alone, that's what we're going to do. Nice. She couldn't get any kills there. I mean, she kind of just dove into <laughs> the entire team of people. So it's not that surprising, if we're being honest. This should go down in seconds. Bam, 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 bam. I'd love to stay here. But we got a recall. I thought the Samira was going to come up here, so it's like, if it's just a Samira and the Thresh is staying here, I could just kill them both. I mean, I could kill a Samira if she's alone, but nah, she wasn't coming at all. All right, let's see here. Um, I kind of need magic resist, but like tenacity famously doesn't actually give you any more magic resist. 
So I'm gonna go for my stair. I mean, yeah, my stair here. Get that beef. Oh man, the Samira is so fed. It's gonna be quite tough to uh, put her down. They also five man mid, so that was interesting. That was perfectly done by us. Good job, kitten. Um, yeah, I wish they nearly had a red buff on her so I could heal up. At least we get dragon, so that's good. Nice, and we get the level up. Let's grab all the CS, recall, finish our Starax. We actually got so much gold from those two kills because they nearly had a massive bounty on her. So that is excellent. I am gonna go for um, Ninja Tabi this game, but we're also gonna uh, upgrade the Null Mantle, right? Because like, if we just look at their team comp, yeah, they get a ton of um, 80 damage from the semi era, but most of their team is like magic damage, right? So it's better for me to um, get the Tabi, then forget about the Samira as I, as I focus on the AP damage. Also, um, I got a bunch of tenacity in my runes anyway, right? So that I wouldn't have to go Merc Treads. Think about Merc Treads, right? Yeah, you gotta understand this. You don't get Merc Treads versus AP damage. You get Merc Treads versus CC, crowd control. Like, the tenacity only helps against crowd control. So yeah. Okay, Draven's dead. Had to make a note of something. <laughs> Alright, let's keep let's keep pushing. There's some Eras here. Where there's smoke, there is fire. Okay. Don't get fooled by ADCs being alone in lane. The support is always there, no matter what. Unless it's a vein, then <laughs> you're the one who needs the support. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna stay in the middle bush. Actually, never mind, they saw me. Oh. All right, well, we can't stay in any bush. Sorry for the background noise. <laughs> All right. Let's just keep pushing, I guess. We can't be aggressive though. Like we shouldn't go over like this ish line because they could just be planning a play on me, right? Wouldn't be too difficult for the Thresh and the Samir to one shot me. All right, they're gone, good. I can push up. Go while they're mid. I'm gonna make use of this pressure and push out here. Only some areas missing. As we mentioned previously, we're not scared of her. We're scared of her plus the thresh. Let's sit here. So she walks here. She's me in the range. Nah, she actually went the smart route, which is all the way around. Nice, nice, nice. Woof. <laughs> Darius out here with the one-liners. Don't turn your back on a wolf. She has a flash. That was absolutely huge. Nice. Good kill. Woof. Let's see if we can get a turret off of that. Real quick. And now I run. 
I'd rather just shop. If we commit to this, Samir is gonna respawn, right? Then the Thresh will be there with her. And I don't have my ult to like one shot the Samir right there. So it's like a really risky situation. I'd rather just back up, right? Do the smart thing, spend my gold, and then come back. Um, Let's beef up, actually. I'm just going to straight go for Force of Nature, and then going to go for um, Randuin's against the Samira. She's literally the only AD threat, and she always remains on my immediate range, so Randuin's is going to be such a, like, insane counter to her. Like, it should just neuter her completely in fights. Okay, let's get all this. Minions. All these minions, not all this minions. Okay. Oof, she should ult out of there. Actually get her? Oh my god. Oh my god. We all die there. Wow. Well, well, we were. Yeah, they're doing Baron. We gotta get in there. Rokan has no ultimate, so that's gonna suck, but... Why is the Yasuo not moving? Alright, just catch someone for me. Anyone, anyone. Man! They just kind of left me there on my own. Just Q. Just Q. Land it. Alright. Good, good. Well, we got the four kills. I couldn't go for the dunking spree that I was planning on. Ugh. Ghost. I love you so much. Don't leave me. If I had a ghost there, I'd kill all of them, but whatever. I guess I should just conserve the Q until I could like get it on the Nidalee for sure. Because the thing is, right, I think the issue with my thinking in that fight was that I didn't zone in my focus on that Nidalee, who was like the only target who could actually get away from me, right? Because the other ones don't have like dashes, right? So I could just flash Q, get them all. But she was the one target that like could actually get away, so I should have focused on her. Made sure that she was dead instantly, and then the others I could just pick up as I went along. Okay, we have Force Initiative complete, so that should be a great help to us to deal with their AP damage. Then once we get Randuins, we should be pretty tanky against, well, the rest of what they got as well. Oh my god, Draven just got bodied. We can't exactly siege right now, because the Akali actually did keep the Baron buff. So, can we not hint like this? All right, we got a kill, good. That's the TP out from the Akali, good. I'm gonna drag it out, actually. Don't want the Nidalee Spear to land on it. Okay. Just gonna grab some camps. <clears throat> Can we just give up that turret? I don't think Raven's gonna get anything there. I kind of wanted to get my level 16 first and then go for this fight, but I kind of have to now. It's two. I'm gonna go for the better kill. Nice. All right, <laughs> now that we got our little 16, we should be just dunking people left and right. We're too unstoppable. Once I get that randomness too, oof. This will be, wh what? 
<laughs> what is he building? What is that? <laughs> He's got Borg Force of Nature. Okay. I didn't charm, I didn't charm. Leave. Got my ult up in a bit, but not right now, so we could ch we should chill. Ooh. Where'd the rest of them go? Oh, we killed them all. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> Good. Eve didn't have to ult. We just killed them with Yasuo and the Eve's damage. And I guess mine, but I don't wanna be too boastful. I couldn't do the trick where you get the kill with a W, because he also got the kill. Not me. Let's bag this one up and take it home. Bang. Alright, so let's get to the next one. Peace out. Alright, everybody, it's Miracle Pack. Some more gameplay. We're up against Nartop. Nartop isn't the. Like, it's not a difficult matchup for Darius to deal with, but the thing is, right, it does get to a point where if you don't kill him early on in the snowball, neither of you is going to be able to kill the other, so it would just be like a a massive snooze fest eventually. We're going to try not to let it get to that stage, but some cases, if the Nar is good enough, it's low-key inevitable. But yeah, um, let's just get right into it. Try to lane properly. There's a cheese you can do against him if you run... Uh, lethal tempo especially which is where you rank level e like level one level e <laughs> level one level e where you, where you rank e level one and you just hook him level one and just auto him to death it works sometimes like you get a kill but you at least get a flash right because you know you're chasing them down to their turret gotta be really careful with uh Here. He, he didn't, like, rank his jump, so I just insta-went for the all-in, and we got a free flash for it, so that's nice. I do not tolerate Let's see if we can get another hook. Well, we can't. We should just go for, it, like, level 2 without caring about level 3. Try to crash this in quickly. <laughs> While CSing minions. Oof, that WQ did nothing to him. Alright. Let's go for a little recall. Actually, no, I can't. Hecarim's right here. And I kind of want to help him out with whatever he's going for. I will not rest. AKA, I want to kill this new new. If he's around. Nah, he actually started top, so that's not going to happen, is it? Alright, whatever. Let's go back to lane. Yeah, if he just started top side. Four. Oh, four yet. So he's probably, yeah. Just clearing out the very edges. Okay, he's gone. F he's done a full clear so far, so he's gonna recall and then come back topside. So if we're gonna kill this guy, it better be now, because if it's not now, the noon is gonna arrive. I don't mind it too much if he's in the mini form, but if he's in like the larger form, then it's gonna be tough to two one them, because at that point it's just there's way too much meat for me to realistically cleave through. Let's see if we can get like a meaty Q in here. I almost dodged that. Oof. Should have also W'd him there. Then I could have flashed on him and killed him. But oh well. A lot of 
pushing tug and war going on here. That hit me with like just the tip of it too. Oh, let's recall. Let's see, we got a pretty good back here. Bam. Let's go attack speed. That fuck. Good. His TP's out. That's nice. We have a minute and a half to get a kill with our ghost here. Not the most challenging thing in the universe, but it all depends on how lucid this guy is. So if he's like sentient, then it's not going to be possible. <laughs> What's up, bro? I might just die here. Can I get level six already? Bro. God. All right, that was kind of messed up. Some of those minions were just like trolling me right there. I refuse to believe that it wasn't an inside job. He has like lethal tempo, so he's gonna be able to just out sustain us here. That lands on me? Alright, that snowball did not go on me for the record. I, I dodged that, but <laughs> I guess when he's snowballing, he himself counts as part of the hitbox. Whatever. We're obviously gonna go for Strybreaker here. We have no other choice. Man, I've recorded a bunch of matches where I just start off from behind and they end up being useful or just playing a big role in the win. So if I can, if I can get some work done this match, I might just dedicate the next video to that basically. Get some vision out. Will rise. Yeah. I'll use my control one here. And normal one here in the jungle. That Heimer's here. Strength above all. What? I, I don't know about this 2v2. We'd probably lose. Let's wait for him to at least go under our turret. What is happening? I think... I think the Heimer is going for a hostile takeover. If you guys get the reference to that. Alright. Well, almost actually caught him. Oh, what a mess, what a mess! The reason I didn't go for the, like, the old kill on the Heimer there was because I'm not gonna actually catch up to this Gnar. Unless something crazy happens. Let's just push this out. But yeah, I just wanted to secure the kill on the Heimer comfortably. What a mess, man. Jesus. Yeah, that was complete chaos. We didn't do too badly, though. Oh, Karthus actually died. Oh, never mind. He 2v1 killed them both with ultimate. If that isn't the most Sigma thing you can do in Karthus, I don't know what is. Hmm. 
The team's kind of winning, so I don't have to do much. And why is the armor here again? <laughs> why is he here again? This is quite entertaining. Oh. And confusing. Well, I guess this is going to be our life now. Because he has kind of Seekers instead of any other AP item. He actually does not have a lot of damage, so... I'm pretty sure at some point we could just ghost up on him and kill him. We gotta have our ultimate though, so... Yeah, without ult it's not possible. Of course. Let's get this ward. Get away, weirdo! He actually still killed us through all that. <laughs> not gonna lie, I was not expecting him to do that much damage. But I guess we just kind of stood there and took the full DPS of his like turrets, so we kind of deserve it. Let's go for Merc Shred straight up. We, we at least got us Ignite, so that's something, right? Who in their team has all the kills? Because... It's 8-11, but we actually have an insane lead. Like, we're ahead by so much. But if you just look at the at the kills, you would think that, oh, this is kind of even, right? We're just a bit ahead. So, they got a bunch of kills on the Draven. And the Gnar, I guess. But it's kind of evenly split. I will not okay. Rest. Okay, okay. In that whole fight against the Heimer, I was basically waiting for him to use his grenade. Which, unfortunately, led to the turrets having time to grind me down. Stay alert. <laughs> he has Zanya's Hourglass already. Okay. That was kind of stupid. I mean, a kill's a kill, so we'll take that. If you want to go over something like that with Heimer, just get the stopwatch and then go full damage so the turrets actually have enough to put your opponent down. Also, this is exactly why you get Magic Pen. Said a tiny bit of magic resist doesn't completely just mess over your entire combo. Alright, Yasuo. Is that Mo Yasuo? I think it might be him, guys. Never mind. Where'd that guy go even, right? Like, <laughs> like I asked about him, I made a reference and I'm like, is that guy even playing League anymore? I, I remember watching his videos. Now he's gone. Rip. I have my orders. Uh, that's unfortunate. Let's get our Strikebreaker, then get our Sterex Gauge. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, maybe we should go death. Yeah, it's just to kill people faster. Yep. We don't really need to be a stat ball here. We just gotta use our ult key to put people down. So, yeah. Given that's what we're trying to do, death stance would fit that purpose far better. Oh man, the enemy might win this fight actually. That flank by the Nunu was killer. Yeesh. Like, that was a really insanely good flank by him. Well, we got Yasuo here. Look at him go, look at him go, look at him go. Oh! 
Let's go. Let's help our. Let's help a homie out. I hate you. <laughs> I should have just gone for the new new sailing army, but it was too perfect. <laughs> oh man, we got kited like. Like a zombie, essentially. Ugh. How gross. Kind of a funny moments compilation that he can outrun us, but I won't comment on that. Now this guy is like waiting for these minions to get low enough HP so he can take the minions without like, you know, getting the whole taboo thing of oh support taking minions. What? I do not tolerate cowardice. Personally. <laughs> As long as it's not a habit, I don't mind the support taking like a wave or two. Like as long as it's just like one wave, right? But if it supports like side lightning, then it's like, bro, you're playing the wrong role, right? I will not rest. Well, what can you do, man? Some supports are just Capricorns. <laughs> That's such a Gemini thing to do. Bro, what? You let him just walk away? Nice. Sucks that I had to use my ultimate there, but it got dicey. All I'm gonna say. Is the turret captured? I don't have this stance yet. I'm gonna go take the crub crugs. Second, I'm gonna go for it. I don't wanna sell my D shield just yet. Mostly because it's like, it's not that much more gold than what I have, right? It's like, if it was a hundred gold less, then yeah, I'd just go and sell it. It's like fifty. I'd rather just take the Krugs. Nice. Okay, the Heimer is just straight up griefing. I hope that's clear to everyone. Boots wise, I think that uh, not boots wise, net, like third, fourth item wise, I think that we gotta employ a moose speed heavy setup here. I think dead ass plate, force of nature, and we should just be running around the map, helping out with every single fight, getting resets, getting dunks, all that good stuff. Bro, bro, bro. You know what you're doing when you're stepping up the Roku, bro. Carve a path. Let's get a flank here. It's gonna run straight in. I did. I, I kind of greeted for my ultimate there, only because I did not want to use it to kill him. Like, the whole disrespect of "you're too worthless to, for me to use my ultimate on you," that kind of thing, you know? That kind of disrespect. He can have the rest. He doesn't actually have shield though, so if I catch him, I can just one shot him. Is that insane? Probably, that's just really cool. Not that we don't one shot him, but for me to basically go and 
put myself in a position where I'm kind of just feeding vitals non-stop, not vitals, feeding bounties to the enemy non-stop, is get, just gonna end up in, I guess, the Draven, taking every single bounty and just being a complete menace for our whole team. Bro, I just want the wave. Get out. That's kind of why Narva becomes unkillable, because every time he gets in his large form, he can just ult you away. And also, like, it's usually not worth it to ghost to kill him, unless he's, like, you know, got a bounty or whatever. In which case, I guess it's already too late, because the Nar has a bounty, right? <laughs> like, you've already lost lane. He's got the randuins, so that's cool. He's just gonna get his large form. What's up? Gonna go push mid lane here. This is a complete mess, by the way. Yasu just went in one before. Yeesh. Did that work out? I don't think so. He's probably just gonna get one tap by that Draven. Okay. Never mind. Hey. <laughs> Straight up just killed them all. <laughs> Oh my god. Yo, 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 let's get the Penta, let's get the Penta. Yes! He dies. Crying B emoji. Look. <laughs> I am honor bound to basically give up everything to get Yasuo that pentakill. It's not a, it's not about winning or losing. It's about honor, right? You're bound by honor to do that. And if you don't, <laughs> the League of Legends gods will give you losers Q. That's completely factual, by the way. <laughs> I don't want to jinx it, but maybe because the Yasuo died, they can do the ban right here. We can't stop them. I would say would that be would it be that because he died there, we just lose the game? <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, they're not gonna do anything. I mean, the honestly should just flip it and go for it, right? But I guess they kind of just don't want to change the status quo. Nar got a bunch of gold from that, by the way. Like, he's he's eating good. Can I, can one of you help me? Thank you, buddy. Thank you, American-made handgun. Oh. Can you also not kill him alone? I'm just gonna finish this screw. Yeah. We should only set like one person there to kill the Heimer. I mean, it's just like one guy. It's like four of us can rotate. But when two or more go, it's like, you know, we actually don't have the chance to rotate there at all. Because if it's four of us doing a dragon and one of us going for the Heimer, then the four of us can like rotate together to the bear, right? Because we saw them pretty early on. You're catching me. I'm quick. But yeah. The thing is, even though this guy is a 111, he actually got so close to just straight up killing the Yasu 1v1. Which is like... Completely horrifying if you think about it, but I don't know. Um, some things in League are like tragedies. You're better off just not thinking about it. I do not tolerate cowardice. I mean, speaking of tragedies, rights balancing of this game is practically a war crime anyway, so I guess, like, you know. 
<laughs> it's not that far off an actual tragedy. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight here. I don't wanna die. Okay, we sold that. Real estate, let's get our DMP, run top, get that wave in. No, just get that wave. Stay alert. Nice. All right, I was planning on getting a magic resist at some point this game, but with Heimer just constantly griefing, it's not that necessary anymore. So we'll see. I mean, I'm kind of strong, so Sterics might not be out of the question. Actually going to get 50 men there. Yeah. The Oh my god, the Carthasar is going to be so huge. Okay. Can you just get a Q off here? He should just insta Q the Gnar. Or it's fine. Hecarim's coming in. Hecarim's coming in. Alright. They literally just won the game off of that. <laughs> Let's just end it. Brute Force is pathing. Not a lot of action from us specifically, but this was quite a fun match to take part in. Like, we did our bit, right? At some point. But, at, like, sometimes you gotta realize that the game's not about you. You're not the main character of the story. So just gotta let the protagonist with the armor take control of the game and just help them. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. All right, we're back with some more gameplay. We're up against Cannon Top. Not the best matchup for Darius, but it's quite winnable since he's not taking phase rush. No ignite, nothing difficult for us to fight. So if we, you know, stop ourselves from taking too much damage, if we use our E properly, if we use our W properly, we should be able to come out on top and fight. He does have more poke than usual with Aerie, so that's something we have to be careful of. And also his teleport, even though it's not a combat summoner, it's going to help him a lot because getting kills against him is not easy for us, right? It's going to take some time. And like, because it's such a brawl to get the kills to begin with, um, we're in a position where we might not have the health to exactly push the lane back into him and like crash it after we get the kill. Also, what a bloodbath. I'm surprised we only lost one person, given how much better their level 1 is. <laughs> Let's keep focused up. Let's focus again. Okay. Gold went to Sivir. That's not good. They have a lot of move speed, so Stridebreaker is going to be a... Like a, a must here. Okay. Get our level 2. I want to get that one little lonely CS. Right. Let's see running. Okay, he's got his landing rush now. Let's try to Q this wave here. Try to get like a Q on him too, but it didn't work out. If I can get level 3 here, I'll just force an all in. Ah, Kiana's here. Oh no. I should have, I guess, flash W'd here instead of going for the RW. But, unlucky. We're gonna get the kill anyway if it wasn't for that. Kiana! Junglers, am I right or am I right? Whatever. I guess he gets nothing here. He probably doesn't even get that kill, unless he flashes for it. Didn't flash for it. Ooh, buddy. That's just how it is in games sometimes, I guess. Let us hope that we can get a kill with our second ghost. It's coming up. Maybe even, like, before that. But the ultimate hope is for this Kiana to not camp us, right? <laughs> that would be unplayable. With Seriously. So we got W. I mean, we got Q. Seriously. 
Seriously? Alright. Uh, whatever. We're missing CS like crazy. The fat mini wave is also not <laughs> making it easy. Uh, I wish my minion wave actually attacked him. Alright, we're getting some kills somewhere at least. Yep, he's gonna crash the wave in slowly so he gets level 6 before I do. Which makes an all in kill all the more difficult to achieve. Seriously? Oh my god. He actually cancelled that auto attack. This is so annoying to play. Oh my god. Uh, do we die here? Well, we gotta cue the Krugs here. Because if we don't, we're just gonna straight die to his ult. I sincerely hope we don't get dove here. <laughs> it would be a, a really easy die for them to pull off. Never retreat. <sighs> Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they send three people to What else is there for Nautilus to do, right? Not gonna lie, top lane's kind of over. We're just getting super camped. No one's doing anything to help. Like, this is not really help. Like, this actually does literally nothing for me. Please just auto in once and ult. There we go. So, I'm not too optimistic about this match. Like, if it was just the Yasuo, maybe I can do something, but <laughs> Nautilus too, like, come on. They will regret opposing me. I didn't have time to go for an EQ. Just insta-death. Yeah. That was just me being tilted. I thought I could get level 6 from these minions and then maybe kill my ult. Yeah, I just don't want to play this match out anymore. I'm just tilted beyond my mind. Like, come on. Our kill possibly comes in the kind of level to just run stop to kill us. Then he goes for like some weirdly aggressive trade, pushes the wave in, and then somehow no one helps to kill him. Yeah, I don't play this. Let's just try to survive, I guess, mentally. Carve a path. Do we even beat him in all ins anymore? I mean, kinda. If I can start the fight when I'm full HP, I might have a chance to kill him with like the bleed after I die or something, but like it, that's just probably not gonna happen. <laughs> just you know, being honest. They'll probably just try to kite me and try to poke me down and then go for a fight. Hmm. Yeah, that's not gonna be good to deal with at all. Above 
These minions just... Uh, like that's not enough, the Kiana has to be there too. I don't want to play this at all. Yes, ping me while Yasuo is here. Whatever, let's just go somewhere and farm until the end of the game while they try to win the game. Nobody even matches the cannon, so he's just there taking free turret plates. Wonderful. With overwhelming force. <sighs> I wish I could commentate, but, you know, we just got camp, then I tilted and lost my head, so there's just nothing to do. And of course he's here. Why wouldn't he be here? Why wouldn't they send their half their team to kill Azir for Darius? What else do they have to do, man? Yeah. Is it even, like, worth it to kill me any more than this, like, at this point? Like, that's what I'm, like, worried about right now. <laughs> Not worried about, but, like, concerning my mind with, let's say. Because surely, like, there has to be a point where it's like, all right, we've killed him enough. The Kenning can, you know, play on his own, right? Like, surely there's a point like that. Yeah, I'm going to push against this Kenning, all right? Yeah, cool. It's not moronic in any way at all. Gotta leave it. Or die. Try to cue the grump here. Ah. One more attack would have done it. I think I should have gone for like an E auto RWQ auto R instead of what I went for there. Let me just take the mid turret with the Herald at least. Or something. I don't know. I was gonna go back top because it's like being pushed in, right? We don't have a turret. Destination is clear. Do we beat this Yasuo? I don't think we do because we actually have Merc Treads, which is useless against him. So it's practically just a uh, Kindle Gem Dagger versus all this. I will not rest. <laughs> uh, yeah.
Mm. <sighs> Not too unpredictable. Let's see if we can get this turret. It'd be a miracle if we do actually. Uh, guys are not insane. That's lucky. I'm kind of. I'm just surprised she didn't. Just insta pop R and just you know <laughs> try to chase us for a kill there. But all right, we'll take that life. These minions. Kind of want to recall. Let's see if we can maybe st like steal a killer to in a fight. Surely we, like, with our flash, we can maybe like kill an overextended Kiana or something. Wow. He really do be fighting for his life. That's a kill. That is a kill. Kind of annoying that she has the invis thing constantly. If she changed her element, I would have one shot her instantly, but she's practically invulnerable against me when she has the green form. Not to mention how there are brushes everywhere, so she can just go invis, take the bush again, and go invis again. Which is <laughs> something you love to see. Whoa, buckaroos. Let's get our skybreaker. Honestly, surprised that he's still alive. Yeah, it's just a fifth. I will not rest. I'd go up there, but. <laughs> We are unfortunately in a position where if we're seen as a potential kill, they'll send every potential human to get us, so yeah, I'd rather just chill a bit. Woo. Like that win, boy? You like that? <laughs> you like that? Oh, that was perfect. Well, they basically just entered and gave me a bunch of gold, so... We're kinda back in the game. Not exactly, but like a big kinda. How much gold do we even get? 2k. Hmm. Just want Sterex. I think Death Dance works better for us here. Just play completely for team fight instead of for ourselves. Like Sterex would be great. It's like the best option, just tankiness wise. But honestly, you kind of want the resistances, the armor. 
And so now that they started to kind of feed me. <laughs> Stay alert. Um. Okay. Their entire team's down there, so let's see if we can get a... Oh, that's a bit aggressive. A turret. Unfortunately, it has no bounty anymore. But, you know, that's just how it is. Sometimes you take the L's. There we go, that's another kill to our name. We're just getting like low key fed here. That champ is fair. Yep. All that mobility is just completely balanced. Dash in, attack, dash out, dash in, invis, stun, <laughs> wave clear. <laughs> oh. Ugh, just a gross character design, in my opinion. I don't know. I have if you use an ability, it's down. At, le at least for a short while, it's down, right? That's like, call me old-fashioned, but... <laughs> Ugh. That's just how it's gotta work. Um, Let's get a bit more armor, actually. Maybe in Sterex. On top of death stance. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. What? Man, the funny thing is the dragon actually has like a hidden patience bar like all the camps. Living Baron? Yep. Let's get in there. The main question is, can we get in there? Because <laughs> this really is the perfect sort of setting for them to wipe this out in. It's just, like, we split them apart. We should go for the top, guys. Kill them all! I think I can catch up to my ghost. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of greedy for this CS. Well, we killed all four of them, which is like a miracle for our team. I don't even think that hook would have landed. Like, <laughs> I think that's one of those hooks where it looks like the maul just goes through him, but it actually it just kind of mildly grazes him. A, weird, a very weird thing that I've noticed about myself is that when I start, to, <laughs> like, even if the game's like completely depressing, I just start to care when I get kills. Not sure what that says about me, but I hope it's nothing too bad. Um, a few more kills when he gets there, so that's good. <laughs> no one actually hit us in that fight, so this dance didn't heal us despite three kills. Okay. I can't believe on the Yasuo here, but then again, like with how their team has been kind of 17 manning me every chance they get, I don't think they would hand handshake a 1v1. Like, ever. Uh, maybe not right now. Get my flash. Never mind. Maybe if he kept walking. Like, I knew the, like, the Nautilus was, like, gone by then. But then he just left. So it didn't commence. 
I chill for a bit. They could just be setting up like a trap for me. <laughs> there they are. There they are. You sneaky peep. I don't know, because it could just be like the Nautilus and the Kayana. Oh, let's go, let's go. Well, that's tragic. If I hooked that Yasuo, that was like one kill, <laughs> if I'm being honest, because I can't get resets when their entire team's like, can you get some help? Where the, where's the victor? Where's Hector? My destination is clear. Thankfully they didn't end the game, but yeah, we missed the hook there. So, oh! Yeah, that sucked. Well, I guess at least we're like gonna respawn in time for the dragon. Also, why do we have a 500 gold bounty? We're not even like ahead in any way, but okay. Yeah, I guess we are kind of ahead after winning like two fights basically, but doesn't really reflect that well. Yeah, we have rapid fire. Oh my god. Yeah, our fire just kind of sucks, honestly. Okay, that's a pick. Well, a pick for a pick. The cannon kill's actually way better than my kill, because I spawn faster. I can walk in here, clear this quickly with Q, Stridebreaker, and then walk into the dragon. Oh, uh, we gotta be careful, because the cannon's definitely gonna try to suicide for us, though. So we should drag the dragon. I might. You lads ought to drag the dragon. They actually get the infernal soul. Oh my god. That's so horrifying. Oh my god! I didn't land my ult. That would have been the game winning play there if I landed my ult. There we go. Alright. Oh, we have minions. Oh. Yeah, okay. I'll just hold the minions here while he brings them. Great work from the victor, actually, just making up for my bad playing. Can you not drag the minions away from me? Alright, I think we end here. Let's be quick. Got 10 seconds. Let's move across so the cannon doesn't stun us all. GG, alright. <laughs> this match was pure suffering, by the way, but somehow we pull through and win. So, um... I guess that's what happens when you ignore Darius, even when he's in thing, practically. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. All right, everybody. So we'll go back to some more gameplay. We are up against Jax Top. This is quite a bad matchup for Darius. There's not really too much you can do to <laughs> win it every single time, but we'll try to see what we can do against this guy in particular. If someone sweeps and the other guy kills the ward, both players get gold. While I was leashing, he did the trick for me to lose a CS. That sucks. Can't get in here though for the XP. Nope. Yeah. Got bamboos out of the first creep. Weakling. 
That's a lot to lose for just one grass bottle attack. <laughs> We're doing well with our trade so far. Yeah, he hit level 2 faster than me. Yeah, this is quite annoying to fight. He didn't go Q though, because... Well, I don't know why, but... It gives us more breathing room to just kill him. That's one, that's one pushing gun. Good. A very annoying matchup, to be honest. The main issue is that there's just a lot more for you to mess up than the Jax, right? The Jax plays, like, while his head's on his shoulders, there's practically no way you can kill him. I have my order. And he's also running such a setup where <laughs> even if I do win trades, he just instantly heals from them. Okay. Let's see if we can get a recall down here. Kind of went back to base, so we have to copy him. Gonna go health. Need the extra meat for this lane. And also, let's get a refill pot just so that we can try to heal up, match his sustain. Though he's not in the worst position, not the best, but it's like kind of even, I suppose. He got coal. Okay. I don't mind that too much, actually. If I can get a good fight going, we might be able to kill him. But, like, <laughs> we have to do some pretty good kite work there to actually, do, to actually be able to do that. There's a bunch of mana gone already, so that's nice. Alright, I'll take that. So flash gone. Let's just chug these pots, because <laughs> if we don't, he just kills us in one go with Ignite. You kind of basically just <laughs> have to wait for him to jump on us. They will regret opposing me. Okay. He's getting closer to level six. So Yeah, it's gonna be tough to beat him. If we don't get instantly one shot, we might have actually like, the room to kill him even while level down. Oh, Karthus is here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's all I need in a matchup like this. <laughs> Ugh. I actually played it quite well, but Karthus, I didn't keep an eye out for him, so he just walked up and killed us. Tragic, tragic. On the bright-ish side, if I force a fight at level 6, we kind of have a chance to straight up kill him because we have a flash up. Right? He has no ignite for a while, and his flash comes up a minute and a half after my ghost. So the priority right now is to get level 6 and force a fight. Without, like, you know, the most we can do is, like, you, like lose one Q. Okay? Every weakness. 
Mm. I try to Q him on my, my minions. Get him to jump on me. This guy's not even interacting with the lane. It's fine. We get to see us in peace. Somehow we have like a tiny CS lead. The Q didn't land, but the all attack after it did. I should have gone for a more ballsy trade because I had the plants here to work with. Our caught this is gonna path here actually. <sighs> Can't really step up. Uh, all right, the turret shot was gonna kill me anyway, but at least we got to put him down once. What threw me off was just this Karthus and what was happening here. Like, just stop focusing on the jacks, which led to me kind of messing up, but not really. Because we didn't actually lose anything, we just died. Like, we we're gonna die there anyway, you know, so it wasn't too, mu too much of a loss. If I wanted to go for Tobbies, but then again, like, these guys are full AP. Ah, oh, that's tragic. One kill at least, so there's that. Take him more, see you guys. Come on. That is the... <laughs> What am I gonna do with this? This is like by far the weirdest position I've seen a minion wave in. It's so bad because the melees are in the turret range. Ugh. Disgusting! Truly. Yeah, I'm gonna... Ward, as is demanded of me. He was just in the bush. Seriously. Um, does he die to the bleed? Tick, tick, no. <sighs> that level up just saved him right there. Also, we're we're kind of catching a disgusting little camp. Perhaps I should have gone for the jacks. <laughs> just go. Ugh, this is such a disgusting match to even attempt to play out. Never retreat. Oh, how gross. The thing is, once he gets Divine Sunder, the lane is just over anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, we're not in the best of positions right now to play this game out like a regular human. A regular degula. I guess at the end of the day, all we can do is just get Stridebreaker, get some move speed, and then try to outdo him in team fights. And in side lanes, we're just gonna like basically clear the wave and not fight him. Use like the stride slay as like an instant disengage every time. Actually get a kill here because he just used his counter strike. 
I'm not gonna die for when he splashes in without Counter Strike. We also have the Talia here. I don't want to play this game. God, like the difference in help is just so night and day that, like, whatever. We're just getting weak sided, I guess. Just take the L and lose hope in having fun this match. I kind of just hope that they can maybe pull the win together, but. Like, the thing is, like, she's probably gonna kill him here, but this kill does nothing to actually help me. Right? This kill does nothing for me. Neither does, like, most of what they're doing. It's just... Like... <laughs> it's useless to me. So I'm just behind the whole time, because Karthus is actually killing me. Stopping me from CSing. I think... Are you serious? C can I just be left alone for two seconds, man? Every time, it's like... Like, it's just impossible to play this. They just send 70 champions my way every time. How'd that not kill? Oh, lord. <sighs> this is just not our match. At least he got one kill. He's so close to Dwayne Sunder too. <sighs> I suppose I have to lose XP. Despite the fact that we've been getting super camped, we're still like even in CS. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Truly the most fun video game to play. Well, we might as well just hang the white flags at this point. Let's honestly just hang her on their turret. <laughs> I don't want to die again. Not our match. I will not rest. Don't think we can walk on and farm that. He'll just kill us from behind. Here comes Karthus. Whoa. My destination is clear. Let's see if we can hold the wave here. Rip. <laughs> There's the wave hole <laughs> gone down the drain. Please don't be seen on the other side of the wall. He just gave him that free jump. It's fine, get the kill anyway. We have to waste Talia's flash for it. Yeah, not the worst thing in the world. We get a turret. Get to finish my stray breaker. Kind of want level 11 from this. Yes, the thing we get it.
He got that flash out. Yeah, no, um... Let's just get one camp and live to tell a tale. What's even good here, honestly? Kind of want Merc Treads, but this Jax is just gonna... Mash me up if I go that. Let's go Strax. The extra HP auto help. Right click, right click, right click the... Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Just gun down the pipe like that. Did I reach this in time? I doubt it. Does this Ezreal have his sums? Because if he doesn't, I can engage with Flash Stridebreaker. But if he does, then I can't. My life flashed before my eyes as he charged up the hook. <laughs> uh, I really like need kills. Like it's an emergency situation. I need some kills. Cause this ain't playable without him. But I got the jacks again, so that's good. Like, it's just the opposite of what's been happening to me. These guys are now farming the jacks. Just as the enemy has been farming me. Mm. I want to like, get a kill on this Curtis. If I can reach me the range to hook him, I can blow him up before he can do anything. I probably died to, like, the ult after, though. Chase. Let's recall the other Merc Treads. Also, instead of Starx, I'm just going to go DMP after Merc Treads. Go. I'll sell that for... Do I need to? Yeah, kind of. I'll sell that for a bit of armor. Get Blue War 2. What's up? If you ever get in there, nice. He has no hell. Never mind, he just mercs him on his own. Oh, he doesn't. Did, did he flash away? Should have watched the whole thing. Nice, I guess. Okay. I still have ult, so should be decently okay at fighting for now. Jack is just still pushing. Okay, let's recall. Yeah, that turret is gone. They've respawned us, so if I can maybe get the Jax to fight me, we can... Go for a kill. Yeah, he's... Are we not coming? Oh, they got the pike instead. Alright. Whatever. I'm not gonna recall there because then the SG will ult me. Bro, he just went in alone. That's close. 
Okay, they caught the Ezreal. Nice. Let's go down and try to match this. Like, we're kind of just getting kills, but it's always like a bloodbath every time. The thing is, right, like, we're not necessarily behind. It's just that I am so behind that it kind of messes up the whole team. Also, I did not get, get here in time to protect that wave. They're more like... Is that kill? Thank God. Okay. Just chill with this guy here. Nothing else to do. Yeah, I don't know about the Darren when the Vig is not there. Exploit every weakness. Ward? Okay. Don't quite have the move speed yet to mess with people. Get this for free then. Nice. Got a recall after this. Okay. Definitely not fighting him. I will not rest. Come here. I guess Death Dance is a decent option. I do need more MR though. Like a force of nature after this, and then maybe a death, yes. She's in a bad spot right now. Could easily get 17 manned. Good. That jacks were closer, they would have gone right there. Let's just, um... Stop watch. Still up. Yep. Okay, I'm getting kills. I'm gonna leave that like that. Pushes on its own. Rip. I have chat enabled, so let's disable that. I do not <sighs> Can I even get anything done here? Nope. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. When we're, like, perma-camp like that, we're not gonna be, you know, going on dunking sprees or anything. Kinda need the team to do anything. Wanted to see if I could maybe get damage off on the Maul's heart, but <laughs> don't think I want to shut anyone there. Ugh. Quite a disgusting match.
Yuck. Stay alert. Okay, pal. Guess you can have it. <laughs> Not exactly useful here. We are so hilariously behind, actually. Like, we're farming decently, but that's not really enough, is it? Like, we really just need kills, and we're not getting any. So, we're just doomed to be permanently behind. Okay. Thing is, they're also, like... <laughs> beefy and strong that even if I flash on someone we don't one shot them so it's like not exactly a flashy engageable match come on can I can I press R on someone okay all right we killed everyone there so that was good that was really good <sighs> I tried to get my ult off, but that Malzahar slow, like, got me out of that fight for a while. Oh, rip. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's sickening. He actually just sat in that bush to wait for him. Well, at least we get a, a single turret. <laughs> uh, I really needed a kill from that fight. That was it, man. I just lost a flash for it too. At least we got level 16 from this wave. Our ult damage isn't gonna be too high. Should be like at least 1k. Let's see here. 850, 180, that's gonna be 90, 270, 270, 150, 140, okay. I'll leave that there. It's close to the SDS. My destination. We just get caught mid. Oh no. They got caught. That pike. Let's run here. Oh no. Are you kidding me? What is wrong with you? Let's go. Oof. That was perfect. That was exactly what was needed there. Heesh. Give me a reset. Let me do the work, baby. Okay, let's get tanky. Let's get tanky, tanky, tanky. He's gonna stop using. Seriously. I need to shop. All right, let's just do it quickly then. Finally. All right. Let's get our force of nature and then start building towards the death stance. I'll wait for the cloth armor. We're really tanky, but like if we get caught randomly in a fight, we'll die in seconds. Just got like, <laughs> I got a ton of like, burning HP damage thanks to the entries. Hmm. 
Stacks at this stage would give us a ton of AD, though. Okay, let's go. All right, nice. That's a free pick. That's a free pick. Okay, let's try to fight here. Oh, unlucky. Whatever. This pike's just feeding us these free picks every once in a while. So that's convenient. It's gonna be quite tough to fight there, not like that. You have Malzahar and Ezreal. And Karthus. There's so many good champions for this. Alright, they let us have it. Good. Let's try to recall now. <laughs> I know exactly how you felt because that stance just makes it impossible to recall. Like, it literally just because it takes the damage over time. Like, they dealt a dot. Four seconds and then three extra. Alright. We shouldn't be here, actually. Too pushed up. And if we fight, the Talia will be here to respond, but not the Viego. That's a big part of why we're winning these fights. Yeah, that's why I was sprayed up. Help me. That was them saying, help me, not me. Who's dying next? Alright, <laughs> me. <laughs> the answer is me. <laughs> Okay. Bro, I tried to tank that for him, but it almost killed me. Oh man, that hook was killer, actually. Are we winning? Oh my god, we won! We win, we win! Oh my god, what a painful match! <laughs> what a painful match! GG, GG. Alright, I'll see you the next one with a banger match. Like 25 minutes of suffering for 10 minutes of fun. Alright, I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.